It is Saturday morning. Otis is playing at Mike's place. Mike's mom and dad are cleaning. They do that often, Otis thinks. Mike's mom gives them two bags of garbage. This has to be put away in the shed, she says. Mike and Otis don't like the shed. One time, Mike heard sound from behind the door. What if a big animal lives in the shed? With sharp teeth? A child eater. Mike and Otis are sent to the shed. Oh, says Mike. What if the animal is home when we come by? Otis gets chills thinking about the big animal. Yes, he says. My mom told me that things often move into people's sheds. Mike and Otis open the door to the shed. It is very dark. There's old stuff everywhere. Check this cool gizmo out, says Otis. It is used for... A beep comes from a box on the table. Beep, 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 beep. Mike and Otis walk over to the box. A giant robot rises from the box. It is full of cables, and it sends out lights and beeps. Otis throws garbage from the bag at the big robot. Mike and Otis run toward the door. Mike grabs the handle, but it doesn't open. What should they do? They throw more garbage at the big robot. It seems angry now. Otis gets an idea. They can climb up on the box and get out of a small window. Good idea. Then the robot is trapped in the shed, says Mike. Mike and Otis get up on the box. Mike's legs are shaking. Otis pulls him up. Mike and Otis are outside again. Oh my, you look terrible, says Mike's mom. Mike and Otis have garbage in their clothes and in their hair. We caught a robot in the shed, says Mike. Mike's mom opens the door to the shed. Good gracious, she exclaims. It is pure chaos in the shed. And the big robot is gone. But it was after us, says Mike. Nonsense. Mike's mom shakes her head. That robot was pretty cool, says Otis. Yes, says Mike, but I'm happy we got rid of it.